Hello there. Welcome back. Before I say anything, there's a new video on the main channel. Go watch it. It's about me becoming a rapper. I think my rap career blossomed pretty hard. So if you want to see me harnessing that talent, uh, go check it out. Uh, here's a little clip. This isn't from the video. This is something that didn't make it. This is me writing my uh, rap song. Now, to be real, that video is actually pretty fun to make. Um, I've been kind of working on it on and off for a while now. And I've just been... I Honestly, freestyling is pretty fun. Even though I'm really bad at it. Just dicking around and just... Uh, you know, freestyling about random shit. It's pretty fun. So, I've actually been doing that a little bit. Not even recording. Now, obviously, I don't think that I'm actually going to start rapping. Because, like, I'm shit at it. And... I don't have the dedication to actually get good at it. So. <clears throat> but freestyling just for fun is, you know, it's not it's not a bad pastime. I've been watching a fuck ton of YouTube. I've been watching this guy named Joel Haver. He's a filmmaker. He makes he, he makes short films, but a lot of them are kind of like sketches. But he also I think the most impressive thing is that he's made I don't know how old he is. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably like 23 or something. Like, he's pretty young. And he's made like five feature-length films. And he made them all himself. Like, with no crew at all. And basically no money. That's the most self-sufficiency I've, I've seen from filmmakers. Especially now. Because it seems like now... Well, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of that now. Now that there's so much shit available to help you. But I think, I don't know. I think that's pretty fucking awesome. And he's, and it's cool how he's just like, cause everyone is aware that the technology is available, but no one wants to just force themselves to do it. Like he's literally doing everything himself. And obviously I've had the thought before. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just make a movie myself. But I'm like, fuck that. Cause that's, that's, it's, I feel like that would be the most stressful thing. Now, I'm probably going to do it eventually. And I've had some movie ideas lately that I want to do. But filming it alone would just be... It'd be difficult. But anyway, I got merch coming in the mail. Samples. So I'm going to... Once that all gets here, it's, it's like a week away, I think, because it ships super slow. But once that all gets here, I'm going to do some like promotional I'm gonna take some pictures and then uh once the weather warms up a little bit I'm gonna I have two promotional video ideas like short films I want to make for it and then I'll probably do just like a social media type more just like montage kind of thing showing the clothes so three total videos and a bunch of pictures basically that I want to do for promotion for it and then I'll probably release it in like April or May just because I would do it way sooner except I want to wait for good weather to shoot that stuff and uh, so yeah I need time to be able to do all that so I think May is when I'm going to actually drop everything there's two designs and there's uh, one design there's only sh shirts of the other design there's hoodies and shirts and there's phone cases and stickers of both. So, I think for a first drop, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm hoping people like it. And then in the future, way in the future, I'd like to do like an actual clothing line where it's kind of more... Like, I obviously I would wear these, I'm going to wear them. But I want it to be more like, uh, less of a joke and more supposed to actually be like... You know, nice clothes. I'd like to do that eventually, but, you know, I don't know shit about it right now. And I feel like anything I would try to do would just be, like, corny or ugly. So, and I and I and all I can really do right now is screen printing. So, pretty limited. But for just regular merch, I think it works great. Um, I'm just doing it through T Teespring. And I don't know. 
I don't know why there's not more awareness of Teespring. Maybe just because it has a weird reputation or something. I don't know. It's literally the only free site that lets you do everything you need to do to do merch. And for some reason, I was not aware of this until a little while ago. But, like, literally the only money you pay is if you want to order samples. The rest of it is totally free. So I don't know why anyone, why would you not do it, right? I have more ideas for designs for this I want to do in the future. Maybe I'll do another drop. I don't know when I'll do another drop, honestly. Drop one in May, so then I would probably maybe do one around Christmas or something. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. I might do some limited run shit and just see where it goes. Decide to see how this first one sells. I think for both, to get both designs made, just like on Fiverr, I paid, the first one was 20 bucks. He gave me a slight discount. And uh, the second one from the same artist. Oh, speaking of the artist, I'm going to shout him out because he was really cool. Uh, his name's How Topman on Fiverr. I'll put the spelling on the screen. Um, if you need art done, hit him up because he's pretty cool. And I thought the designs came out really good. But yeah, I think I, I think I spent like 40 bucks, 45 bucks total on designs. But now having to order a sample of everything. I didn't order a sample of the cases or stickers. I'm just kind of hoping that those are good quality. I think they will be. If not, sorry. <laughs> um, but not ordering all the samples, I think I paid $125 altogether. So that's, you know, $100, $170 or something like that that I've spent all together on this. So it's not like it's dirt cheap. I mean, that's pretty cheap to do merch, but for me, that's a lot of money, you know? Uh, I'm in school. Oh, fuck. Speaking of school, I'm supposed to be in class right now. So I guess that's a good place to end this, huh? <laughs> okay. It was only two cats we ran over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to Aiden's house. And uh Uninvited. Yeah, Aiden. He told, said, he told us he can't hang out right now. So okay, so we texted Aiden and we said, Hey, can we come chill at your house until basketball practice starts? He said, Nah. My <laughs> dad's do, <laughs> my, nah, my dad's doing shit. So, so uh we said okay on our way. <laughs> so we're on our way. What do you think his dad's doing? His dad's on Discord wearing the fucking cat ear headphones, dude. He's gotta be. Yeah. His mom's cooking, dude. Dad his his sleeping. mom's cooking. Cooking or sleeping. She's cooking or sleeping. She'll be cooking as soon as we show up. Aiden's cooking. probably sleeping or, or <laughs> playing Rocket League. He's playing ukulele and playing Rocket League. Dude. Yeah. Beating his means. Dude, what does he even do anymore? He doesn't play Rocket League. He doesn't? I know he's been getting on COD some. He might be doing school. He gets on COD some with uh, Brandon and Aiden. And Tim. Is he really? Yeah, Brandon and Tim. Sorry. Uh, is he really doing schoolwork? He does schoolwork a lot. He's a fucking nerd. He's what fucking, a fucking loser. What a Jesus. fucking idiot. God damn it. Why aren't you fucking driving around doing You're nothing? You're not failing your classes. You ain't living <laughs> in my house. That's all I got to say exactly. to you. Exactly. Oh, you wanna Drop out. What are, you what are you trying to have a future? Drop fucking out of school pussy? and do it. Why are you fucking going to college for? This motherfucker thinks he's going to have a job or something. Like that. What? Yeah. Idiot. You can't always get what you want. Wait, does Will just text you out of the blue too? Yes. Does yep. he? Well, so and yesterday was weird because we were already on the phone. We had because he wanted to rap or whatever. And I was like, all right, fine. We do it for like ten minutes or whatever. And then he leaves, and then like half hour later, he texts he texts me hi. I was like, hey. I said yo, and he goes. <laughs> Who's so the type of person that takes I see you and you need to start running? I don't know, dude. I, don't even, I just... Why does he want to call so fucking much is my issue, dude. Like, if he just wanted to text every now and then... It'd be I'd one thing if he was, like, super fun on the phone or something. He has something to say, but he's, he's like... He he's like, yeah, He calls you and he's just like, hey. Hey, how you doing? Like, Good. What do you... So I start everything off with, 
You have 10 minutes. <laughs> Even though he has fucking an hour, I'm not doing it. Yeah. You have 10 minutes. He's like, yo, chill. I'm just like, I ain't angry. It's just all the time you got. You can't always get what you want. I used to live there. Really? In that apartment complex, yeah. For how long? From f like first grade to, I don't know, like middle of second grade, not that long. It was because when my was parents it? first got divorced, we lived, my, my mom lived there for like a year until she bought the house up where we live now. I wanted those sex on a lady, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not really sure I can. I got your license plate, fucker. What if we get there and his mom comes out with a shotgun? Fucking nicest his lady ever. She's out, like, get the fuck out of here. His dad off, comes man. out with the fucking cat ear headphones. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> a pump action shot. He's like, oh, hey, oh, what are you guys doing here? Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we go to Aiden's house, his dad is slightly more insane. Next time we come, he's like, he's like sitting in his underwear, shirtless. He's fucking wearing the cat ear headphones. And he's eating cheese. It's all pink. Eating cheese. It's off the floor. Pink laundry on his chest. <laughs> My, his mighty Bitcoin is like, come here. And he starts like telling you about like QAnon or some shit. He sits with his shit. legs crossed at all times. Like, yeah. Uh, no, he sits, he's one of those people who sits on, when they sit on a chair, they like squat. You know what I'm talking about? Where they had their feet on it, but their ass is like resting on their heels. You know what I'm talking about? I hate that, dude. <laughs> yeah. You can just see it's not sad creepy. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking dashy, you dashy fucker. Well, if you didn't have him sitting in that pose, I wouldn't imagine that, but. Well, as far as physics are concerned, that's probably how it would go. <laughs> yeah, but you, you don't have to mention that <laughs> but gr grotesque level of detail. <laughs> Is it true that back in your hometown they call you the cum dumpster? It's the corn crib, but yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. How many, How okay, so how many times would you say that a homeless man has had his way with you? <laughs> on, like on an average. Good question, next question. <laughs> okay, I, I can appreciate the compliment at least. Um, okay, so we'll take it away from homeless men. How many men in general have been inside you? Uh, What's the most that's ever entered you in one day? Oh, hey, would you look at that? We're at Aiden's house. Yeah, yeah, good time. <laughs> Aiden! 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 You wear an unbuttoned flail? Yeah. Dude, I'm in my house alone. Are you still going to be in the full tuxedo? No, come out with that shirt. You're looking fresh. Or with a t-shirt, don't come out with that. Nah. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't want it any other way. Do you want to go somewhere? No, nah, I'm good. Until 6.30, you don't want to do anything? Nah, I gotta do work anyway. Okay. You don't score? You call that yeah, one. I call it. Number one victory royale, yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. get down. Ten kills on the board right now, just wiped out to me.